Hello again, this is Rip Tiron and Rip Tiron's World, and welcome back! This is my episode for Furnace Fury. Um, got a lot to cover, because when you're dealing with furnaces these days, you're also dealing with hoppers. Hoppers are uh, incredible little things. Uh, they act as sorting devices, and you can do a number of things with them. Uh, one of which is make your furnaces much, much, much more powerful. Uh, the best thing about a furnace is basically that it, well, actually, the furnace, let's just go over the furnace. Um, when you click on it, the first thing it shows you is this. You have a place. Uh oh. Ah, you have a place for your doodads that you want to either smelt or bake or whatever the case is. If it's food, you're going to bake it. If it's uh, stone, you're going to bake it. If it's clay, you're going to bake it. If it's glass, you're going to smelt it. If it's metal, such as, you know, iron, you're going to smelt it, gold, whatever. So, this is where you put your stuff. It's the end. This right here is fuel. So if I had some coal, which I don't, not prepared, um, you would put it here. If you had wood, you would put it here. If you had uh, charcoal, you'd put it here. If you had lava, you'd put it here. Probably the best way to utilize your furnace, and most practical, is with coal blocks. And eh, there's some argument there because, you know, uh, it's true that a lava bucket will do more than one coal block, but you can't stack lava buckets. You can, what, about all you can do is essentially, um, you could put lava buckets up here, but if you don't retrieve your lava bucket, the bucket, you're going to lose your lava bucket, I believe, unless they fix that update. I, I don't think they have, but then I don't know. I've never used it with one of these, but now here's the thing. If I put 64 coal blocks right here, and then I put another 64 right here, I don't think you can stack lava buckets. So the most lava buckets you can do is five, and that's going to be it five lava buckets. Now, a stack of 64 will do more than five lava buckets already. Two stacks of 64, yeah, yeah, you, you're not going to be around, you're not going to have that much stuff to do. Um, a stack of 64, I'm betting, is going to do all of this and then some. So, it just so happens that I took a little time and a little Fortune 3 pick, which I, oh, don't even get me started on the fortune picks because if you've been watching my videos, you know that I really had some issue with enchantments. So anyway, I'm not going to get sidetracked. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the garbage that I'm going to bake, which is, you know, 64 of everything and 64 of this. And then it's, it's random stuff, too. It's not just stone. So, um, because different things kind of bake at different speeds. Um, I need to get a stack of stone or another stack of glass. I don't think, no, no more glass. We'll have to go with stone. So, another stack of 64 here. And fill this chest up. So, bingo. We are totally full here. Uh-oh. We're not quite right there but that's okay we're mostly full um, now I don't think I'm gonna be able I'm, I'm my next test is to uh, fill this up with all stone and basically see what 64 compares to it if it doesn't come close to being out on just this then I'll know well I'll have to add a hopper and add another layer so that it drops down again. So anything that's not up here or anything out of that that leaves, another hopper will drop it into the back of this. And I can do that. I got plenty, plenty of space back there. So 
let's just drop in this 64. And I'm going to mill around. You won't have to watch. I'll, I'll come back and I'll show you exactly how much a stack of 64 will do. And here it goes. We're off to the races. First block is already going. See? Now, this is a great thing. It's already done one block, and you can't even see if it's, it's not even moving. <laughs> I believe a coal block will do about 12 blocks. I'm not too sure, but let's, let's just watch and see. Now, it, it's taken it straight out of there, so it's already done three blocks, and that's the other thing. This hopper right here, that's what it does. It takes that from out of here, which is your return, and puts it in this chest. We should have about four or five, five glass already. And we're only on 63. So now, let's see. Uh, what we want to do is we want to take these 11 blocks of coal. And I want to throw it in here just in case. It's going to take these 11 first and stack them right on top of this. So just remember there's 11 on top of the 64. Um, we are going to mill around. Now if I leave this chunk, if I, if I go to the nether or something else, these stop. That's a disadvantage of automation. Uh, all time stops in this chunk if I leave, say, for the nether, or I go traveling out of range of this chunk, all this stuff just instantly stops. So, we are kind of tied to this area. I can go anywhere in this base area. So, while I'm milling around, I could, I could be, like, outside chopping down trees. As long as it's within this general area, I think I'll be fine. Now, let's get back to this. Uh, these are the next things up in line. It's going to do a stack of meat, going to do a stack of iron, another stack of meat, another stack of iron. Now, to get this going, uh, I want to make sure that that's a full stack of iron, first of all. I don't know why it wasn't, but there we go. Okay. Awesome. So, what we have is a whole bunch of stuff. It's going to bake all this. I, I know it. Anyway, when you guys see what this can do, you're not going to believe it. Um, and I've got three of them. Well, I don't think I'll ever need this many. But if, if you wanted it to go a little faster, you could take half of what's in here and put it in this chest and then split the 64 between them and get more done. Uh, that's just economics. Uh, you know, double the output in half the time. Uh, but this is purely a test to see A, how long it's going to take to clear a whole chest. B, how much is it going to pull before giving out. If it uses all 64 here on one chest, I'm going to be a little... Uh, we're going to have to do some math. Um, but right now, it looks like, you know, there's a lot of stuff in there that's going to be baked. And 37, let's see how much is in 10. So if we have yet to go through two blocks of coal, and we're already up to 28. 29. And 30. <laughs> 30. 30. There we go. See, it's working. So, I'll be back in a little while just to see what this thing does. Okay, this is, uh, this is actually taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, let me just show you what's going on. The amount of stuff that it's done is incredible. Like I said, I, I knew it was going to perform well. I just didn't know how well. 
Remember the 11 blocks I put in here? It hasn't even gone through them yet. And that means that this thing is incredibly efficient. I've done a third of what's in the chest on about seven or eight blocks. Seven or eight blocks. That's really good. It went through all the stuff in here, the 64 I had in here, and a third of the chest on like seven or eight blocks. That's incredible. That is that is really incredible. I mean, that is that is just wow. So yeah, that's a lot of stuff already. And we're not even that far. Uh, I haven't even touched the 64 stack. <laughs> it's wow. I'm I'm impressed. This is gonna be a good thing. That means that I can probably just put, you know, 20 coal blocks in each of these and walk away and know that that entire chest is going to be done. Uh, yeah, probably. Um, I've got some coal we can convert, but I don't think I'll need to. Um, I'll just take what's left over from this one. Shoot, I could split that right now and start this one. Uh, that might be a good idea, but, um, keep hitting the wrong buttons. I wanted to go ahead and start tearing this out while I'm on camera. And, uh, because you guys, you guys know that I was going to do this. Uh, it's just a matter of when. And, uh, I got to get started sometime, right? So I'm going to tear this little part out and we're just going to see what, what there is. Make sure there's nothing in there. Uh, okay. Alright. We're good. Alright, good. Ah, get your fingers right. I guess it doesn't matter. We'll get it. We'll get it. I was thinking it stares down to this little lip that way when I come near it. But then again, oh did I yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do something here. I've got plenty of ladders. Do this. I'm not really sure which side. Yeah, the ladder is on that side. So What I'm wondering is how much do I want? I think I want another ladder right there. That way I can get on, get out, either side. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, there, very good. I think I want to surround this with wood, too. Um, hmm, yeah, wood. Wood, wood. <laughs> okay. I have enough. Oh, where are my fingers today? Okay, got that. Now, I, don't want, I think I need another section here. I think if I divide this up, ah, this is just in the absolute worst place, too. Why did I put this here? Why did I make the room like this? It's like an odd shape. Odd number. Ah, oh, it's a it's a crafter's nightmare. Let's see. Okay, I got three left, so hmm. Need more wood. 
Down tube, get some uh, ladders back on there. Looking good. Got my bed. Now that's that's temporary because I may just move this whole thing. Um, I, I've forgotten. I've forgotten. Yeah. Okay. So this is too forward. Right, and really this room is tiny I can make this room bigger and it's really this area that kind of needs a revamp hmm this works for this shaft and this shaft but it doesn't work because of what's behind it wish I could move it to this side but it'd be even well I don't know that that actually might work out so. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, working out the details here. And uh, fingers not in right place ever. What is wrong? Let me adjust my chair here. Mm. Yeah. I uh, I slept rather hard, and I just woke up. So forgive me if uh. Things aren't working quite right yet. <laughs> I haven't had my coffee. Coffee's important to me. It's one of those things that, you know, just, I really can't be without. It's, it's just, gotta have it. Uh, um, two left. So that means we went through nine blocks. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I want to make a shooting gallery, and I'm not exactly sure about this, but I'm, the idea behind it is that I, it's sort of like darts, only I want a mob spawner somewhere at the other end, and <clears throat> I want the mob spawner to be like this tower, and the tower drops mobs at different levels so they have different amounts of damage and then the mobs then have free roam of like say an area below and they can come forward and I want it to be semi dark inside of this area and, and it wouldn't be in here it, I'm just talking off I'm I just happen to be here because the ovens here yeah so like outside, there would be a mob spawner, and it would drop mobs at different levels. And I'm, I'm like, say, a distance like this away on a tower, on a little tower. So even if they do get right up to me, they can't get me. And I'm shooting my bow. Actually, what I'm shooting will be these arrows that I've collected and these bows. Because I've got a ton of them. And I'd like to get rid of them somehow. Useful. So I, I thought, well, I could shoot them. And I could make it so that uh, I drop mobs and I have to shoot them with bow and arrow. That would be fun. That'd be like a game. I could make a game out of this. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, I'm going to drop mobs and we're just going to have like target practice. And I can grab a bow, you know, bang, and then shoot the bow. Boom. You know? And this will be fun because odds are, you know, uh, I'm going to have a lot of arrows left over and a lot of these bows, you know. And I just figured out something. I saw someone on their YouTube do this and I didn't realize it was possible. You can get into the small crafting or on the crafting for that matter and combine bows just like that. Non-magical. Now, if you do this with magic items, the magical goes away, but you'll get, you'll combine the amount of life with the item. So, ba-boom. 
you've just saved an item. Now, I did both these bows that way. And I may not do that a whole lot, but if I can take, you know, four or five red bows and make a decent regular bow out of them, you know, hey, I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's see. Look at that. That's that's working out. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a almost perfectly good bow now from all this crap. <laughs> Let's see. Whoops. Let's see if I can do this on here. I think you can. Yeah, you can. Alright. So there, I just fixed another bow. And hmm. So that's good news to me. I, you guys probably like, duh, yeah, we've known that forever. <laughs> Where have you been? Yeah, well, I didn't know that. And it was looking like all these bows that I was, these drops were just totally useless and I'd have to spend levels to fix them. Because if you go over to the anvil, it'll ask for some levels just to fix this stuff. And I think that's just dumb. And it is. And I don't know if that's a new thing to 1.6, but it's new to me. So I'm, I'm going to use the hell out of that. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, let's see if this has done anything, because, oh yeah, we're through another stack here. All right, well, let's go upstairs, and I'll talk some more, and you guys can listen. Um, yeah, we've got this drop-down tube, and this, this is just a designerly part aspect to this. Whoops, where the heck? So we really don't need this. get rid of all this and really I think we can probably get rid of this too because it really serves no purpose anymore okay Let's see how that looks. now we're in business a little more a little more of our stuff together down in the hole that we made. Get that last block. All right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think this is actually far enough away at the bottom of that shaft to turn off the oven. I have noticed that things have stopped whenever I go down there. Um, but yeah, we are looking a lot cleaner already. Now, Okay, I kind of like the way that looks. I'm, I, I kind of wish that I had another bank of things. And maybe I should move that portal, move the portal somewhere else. Because this portal, even though I like where it's at, and originally it was nice, but, hmm. What I'm looking at is I'm trying to make this place look presentable. And I do have a lot of ideas, a lot of ideas on what I should do uh, with my storage facility here. Because it's not as efficient as it could be. Uh, working with these hoppers, I have learned a lot about how they sort things. What? Oh, there. That. <laughs> when you expect this and you see this... <laughs> You're kind of surprised. Anyway, um, yeah, this, this goes through down into the chest and a ton of stuff. Let's see. Yeah, still two coal blocks left. We haven't even gone through 11 blocks. We're probably going to be almost to here before we ever start this 64 right there. That is incredible. Yeah, by the time we hit like five coal blocks of that 64 stack, we're probably going to be through that whole chest. I'm pretty sure I need to add another chest on top of this, or, or just make this a double chest, because we've got plenty of power with the coal. The coal blocks are just incredible. Yeah, that's one thing that uh, I must admit, uh, in the 1.5 and 1.6.2 update they extended the power of the game quite a bit with the choices that they made um i don't think 
a lot of crafters, Minecrafters, have come to realize, you know, just it, the power of these things is so great. And you see a lot of, I see just some huge designs on, you know, item sorters and things like that. And they're really amazing, but in day-to-day -day use, uh, if you look at any of the, the YouTubers that are posting their Let's Play series, I rarely see a hopper system. Rarely. Um, and when they do, they, they make it this giant project. And they keep working on it for like a month. And then when they finally get it done, you know, they, they, they're like, oh, wow, you know, this is... Na, 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 na. And they, they figure out all what's involved. And if they're not smart from the very beginning, they end up redoing it. So you could spend more time making a hopper system if you don't know what you're doing. And halfway through it, end up redoing it because you learned so much about how to make it. Um, that's why I like playing around with these smaller inventions, these smaller things. It gives me some experience with these guys that I need in order to understand how to use chests in conjunction with it. Also gives me, I'm, I'm watching, I'm keeping an eye on how this thing takes things in. Like, for example, it's on the last stack of sand here. Now, even though I have blocks, or actually, in the beginning I had meat and I had iron in here. Well, it took the iron first. It doesn't go in order down the line, what it does is it, 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 it comes down to what's in here. If there's sand in here and it starts pulling from this 64, this 64 is looking to be filled up by something up here. And this 64, right, let's say that this starts going down, this 64 starts to drop and it goes down to 63. Well now there's a void here and it looks up here. And it starts pulling from up here. So if you've got sand in here, it's going to finish all the sand you have before it goes to the next item. If this runs out, then it starts pulling sand from here into here. It's like a vacuum, and it's looking for same items, like items. Once I go through all the sand, then it'll pull the 64 into a stack slot. But it's not going to do that um, until we have an empty slot. And once it's down here, it's not going to pull it into the oven until this 64 has pulled all the sand out of here. So this will eventually start filling up. You know, this will go down to 63, 62, until it hits zero. It'll be gone, and it'll this will go to 63. Cobblestone will drop into here. This will go to zero, cobblestone in here. This will go to zero, cobblestone in here. Whoops, let's see how that works. Ah, oh, shoot. All right, well anyway, you get the idea. It's, it's um, if whatever's in here is what it's gonna pull, and it's gonna pull it from all of these. It's gonna run out, and then it'll pull the next item. So it goes in order. <clears throat> it did a stack. And then, because I, I had like a stack, and I actually had to switch it to get it to go to iron. Otherwise, it would have done all the glass first. And I didn't want that to happen. I wanted, I wanted this. I, I wanted some of this. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's what's going on. Um, I'm going to end this here. And again, in the comments, somebody leave me a comment. I want to know what you guys think I should do in this area. Uh, I might take this out and put in a grand staircase and just uh, because there's a there's actually let me go over here. There's actually a staircase on the other side here that I intended to use as a main entrance down to the dungeon level, to the uh, you know basement level where I would be mining. And that that right there is the first landing. Uh, that's up around about 15 to 20 blocks, I think, above, you know, bottom, uh, bedrock. And it's, it's not a great place to go strip mining. <laughs> but it is down there, and it's, it's uh, where I started at. Um, 
I made this drop down tube next. And I'm not exactly sure why I made it here. I think I made it here simply because this came down right here and I could uh, just jump right in. And that's my thought behind it. I would just make this. And then after I made the drop down, I carved out this entire area. So that's the way it developed. Um, so, yeah, we're kind of stuck with this area the way it is. I think what I could do is I could raise the roof here. I could make it taller. And we could get some bigger trees in here or something. That might be nice. Uh, I think I told you guys I wanted to make a tree farm. I think maybe this area right in here I could carve out and make a really big tree farm right in here uh, because this area is pretty much I never use it and it might be a nice local area to start that. I do, I, I was talking about hoppers and I do want to make a storage facility that is probably right in this area and I want to redo this area so that uh, <clears throat> I have hoppers that are feeding another room and what I'm thinking is I either take out this bank of hoppers and make it feed a different location so that whenever I finish I like all I'll have to do is come by here drop 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 and then I can uh, I don't even have to worry about items I just drop them in a chest and the chest takes them out so there'd be a single chest here and the chest feeds a hopper system a sorter that uh, would go I don't know down here near my chicken farm somewhere somewhere down there because I'm always going down there for experience and farming in this area <clears throat> uh, I don't know I haven't thought it all out yet but uh, you guys tell me what you think because I would like to uh, somehow integrate hoppers into a sorting device now what I'm thinking is maybe I should put the, the sorting device up there somewhere upstairs because I'm always down here and have the sorted items down here with item frames and that way I can just look and okay this is this this is this this is this this is this and uh, upstairs yeah upstairs would be the single like when I'm coming back from an adventure actually you know that's that's gonna be right here I'm usually coming back from here so I come in I turn boom <laughs> drop the items in to a single chest and let it go boing 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 and it distributes them but in order for that to happen it's gotta trickle down hoppers don't go up very well <laughs> as a matter of fact they don't go up at all so whatever you do it has to start up above where you want it to end up uh, it's kinda like it's gravity fed I guess in a way one block left almost been through 11 blocks that is amazing yeah it's pretty much gonna be right where I thought um, anyway you guys let me know what you feel um, and I'll get busy cracking uh, anyway Let's see. Yeah. This has been basically a, a pretty fun episode. Uh, I just wanted you guys to see how my base was coming along. And I would basically show you it's opposite day. Oh my goodness. Everything works opposite when you're facing your character. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys exactly how powerful these things really, really are. Because the, the furnaces, they, they really are powerful these days. Uh, especially, well, the, the hoppers. The hoppers are really powerful. I mean, combined with other items, they can do wonderful things. And I think you guys know that. You just need to uh, understand you know, the limitations. And once you do, you can work anything. Anyway, I'm Rip Teron, and have fun with Minecraft. We'll see you later. Bye.